Hello everyone. My name is Molika and I'm from Jampan 13 at Golovers. Today I'm going to show you how to create data tables for a JSON data for a repeated uh, JSON object which which will be having values like uh, ID name and like this in a repeated manner. Here for my demo I'm using JSON server to store my JSON data and a Node.js app to render my HTML screens. So here, here the data table uh, editor is being used for my demo, which facilitates the uh, which facilitates us to perform CRUD operations on a JSON data. So here I have uh, let's have a look on the data table. When I click on the details, we can see the details of a person, which is here in the JSON file. So here I'm running a JSON server on port 3000 and I'm having the uh, details of a person. So my data table contains the keys as the column names in the JSON data and I have one more JSON server running on port 4000 which contains the address of that person. So let, uh, here I have a script for that which just makes an ajax call which in response i get a json object here and then i i fetch that json object and store all the keys as the column names and all the values for my data tables value and i use data table editor for that and i assign the json object as value and all the uh, keys as the column name. So here you can see my demo. I have ID, first name, last name, email, and start date. So here I have the columns same as my key names. So my script does the conversion. It converts the JSON data into a data table grid. So here we also have the editor which provides us, uh, which allows us to perform the uh, CRUD operation on it. So we can add a new record here. Let's have an ID. Name. Last name. Email address. All set. You can give the date like you see eight. What's today? Eight and eighteen. Okay, two thousand eighteen and create. Now here you can see the object has, crea has been created and if I will check this value here, here you can see that the value is added into my JSON table. Similarly, you can edit this data. Dot com, update. And you can see the updated value here. Okay. And you can delete this. So this all things can be done using data tables editor. And you can also use and you can also create another data table with the same data by clicking on this. I have selected the name Amrit. So here you can see I have one more data table with with this JSON data, which which is having the address of that person. So here you can see first name, city, state, country, and zip code, and you can see that I have the columns here. So you can also hide the columns which you want. Like in the first table, we see 
ID is hidden. In the second table, we see the first name is hidden because we already have that first name here and we have selected that. So we can hide that. So data table provides us with that features. So uh, let me just edit this. We can also edit this thing. Let's change this to Hyderabad and update this. Now, if you check here for Amrit, you can see cities change. So, in this way, you can create um, data tables for the JSON table, JSON data, and you can also see the changes in the JSON server at runtime, which will directly edit the file, the data in the JSON server. So this is how you can make a data table for it for the JSON data you have, or you have the JSON object. This is my script to convert that. Uh, next demo, uh, I will show you how to set up the con and configure the Redis cluster so that you can make your Panther web application distributable. If you have any questions, please put them into comment section below or you can email us at support at profits.com. If you like this video, please click on the right like button and subscribe to our channel.